Hey, Ben, good afternoon, everyone. You would never know with looking at the scrapyard behind me that it was engulfed in flames earlier today. And uh, the fire officials say they've been here before. For about an hour Friday afternoon, thick smoke billowed from the Alderman Dow Iron and Metal Company. So what could have ignited the blaze? It could be very fierce. So friction could be one, heat could be another. Heat can combine with vapors or even a splash of gas. And officials say fires at scrap yards are not uncommon. Explosions happen when there's scrap metal because it could be any combination, batteries, fuel vapors, Boom, it goes. The Alderman Dow scrapyard contains various types of light metal, including washing machines, dryers, refrigerators, and even old vehicles. And the dry weather, they say, could be a factor in this fire. We're dragging metal all along this concrete. All we need is a couple of good sparks to catch some of that insulation, and we've got a full blown fire. And he says that few fires are more challenging to investigate than a scrapyard fire. You have tons of metal debris, you have uh, sharp items, you have hot spots where that metal's still somewhat warm. And while it was fortunate the wind was not blowing in the direction of nearby I-95, the smoke was pushed toward some Fairhaven neighborhoods. You know, we'll meet her once we get a moment to do so. But I mean, the way this wind is moving, it's got a good wind, so it's going to push it out and push it up. So pretty much there is no big threat. Now, build on their website as New Haven's oldest scrapyard dating back to the 1800s. The Alderman Dow ownership declined our request for an interview earlier this afternoon as firefighters were wrapping up. We're live in New Haven, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.